TG10 10-inch turbo grinder is designed for industrial surface preparation applications. These high RPM machines grind concrete and other surfaces, remove thicker hard coatings like epoxy and waterproof membrane, level high spots, smooth rough concrete surfaces, and other tasks. This video will show you how to properly use and maintain the TG10 and its accessories. There are multiple power options for this machine. All TG10s have 10 inch working widths and grind approximately 400 to 500 square feet of concrete per hour at 1 16th of an inch per pass when using a standard EDCO diamond disc. Preparing the grinder for operation is easy. Begin by tipping the machine back and securing the accessories. The 10 inch diamond disc is designed to aggressively grind rough concrete surfaces, level uneven slabs, and remove coatings. The TG10 also supports this quick change multi accessory disc to which a variety of Dyma slider accessories can be attached to perform a variety of tasks. The Dyma dots remove all kinds of concrete coverings, including epoxy, mastic, and thinset. They remove concrete, and while slightly less aggressive than the 10 inch diamond disc, they create a smoother surface. We have different grits and bonds for soft, medium, and hard concrete. The single Dyma dots grind more aggressively than the double Dyma dots, but leave more scratch marks. To make the machine more aggressive, reduce the number of accessories from 6 to 3 by only placing accessories in every other slot. There must be either 6 or 3 accessories used. These PCD accessories are for very aggressive removal of industrial strength coatings. Make sure the directional arrow on each PCD accessory is pointing towards the disc's rotation. The EDCO arrow removes concrete and coatings like mastic and hard glue while creating clean surfaces. Arrows are not ideal for waterproofing membrane and for use when polishing concrete. Like with PCDs, match the arrow direction with the disc rotation. Visit EDCO's website for more information regarding these accessories and the entire Turbo Grinder accessory line. Tip the grinder forward after placing accessories onto the disc. This customer-controlled leveling system adjusts the machine to the heights of different accessories. Turning this hand wheel changes the angle of the machine's frame, leveling the grinding accessories with the surface. The machine is level when all accessories equally touch the surface and grind a full disc size circle. Further leveling while grinding may be needed. Adjust the dust shroud so it hangs just above the ground. Dust will escape if the shroud is too high. Attach a 2 or 3 inch vacuum hose to the multi-vac port. Airborne dust is harmful. EDCO recommends its line of vacuum systems for safe dust prevention. Wet grinding is another option to prevent airborne dust. Attach a garden hose to this water hookup. The mixture of water and concrete dust will require surface cleaning. To start the gasoline-powered TG10, turn on the gas line. Open the throttle, check the choke, and pull the start cord. To start the electric TG10, make sure the proper power is supplied and turn on the machine. When operating, always move the grinder in a side-to-side -side motion. Make sure this motion is kept when moving forward and back. This technique allows all the different accessories to do their various tasks. Do not push the machine like a lawnmower. Constantly move the machine. This is a high RPM grinder, and it will gouge the floor when left in one place. Simple maintenance will ensure the grinder runs properly. Always check the machine for damage or loose wires before operation. And remember to check oil levels regularly. To grease the head assembly, remove the machine's hood and grease the bearing underneath the belt sheave. To tension the belts, remove the hood and loosen the four power source mount bolts. To loosen the belts, move the mount towards the front of the machine. To tighten the belts, tip the machine back and move the mount towards the back. Retighten the four bolts. If the grinding head assembly needs replacement, begin by removing the belts from the sheave and remove the three bolts off the sheave bearing. Notice this bearing has three bolts and six bolt holes. Insert the three bolts into the holes that were previously empty. This will push the sheave down and eventually off. The belts can now be removed. Loosen the allen head bolts from the side, remove the three bolts from the top, and slide the sheave bearing off the head assembly shaft. Finally, remove the four nuts around the shaft and the entire head assembly will slide off the machine. For more information on the TG10 and all EDCO products, and to view all training videos, visit us online at edcoinc.com or our YouTube channel. Call customer service at 800-638-3326.